With an aim to put forth an exorbitant display of technical skills, this year Nimbus 2016 will prove an excellent platform for the students of NIT Hamirpur to display their all-round skills. This year also, all the seven departmental teams of NIT Hamirpur are ready to take Nimbus to a whole new level. With an intent to celebrate the true spirit of innovation, the theme for Nimbus 2016 is Enigma, that is, fueling innovation. Team Vibhav is already in line with expectations of everyone. As a part of Nimbus 2016, it's a pleasure for Team Vibhav to have our Honourable Director, Professor Rajneesh Srivastav Sir, for an interaction on the theme of Nimbus, that is, Enigma Fueling Innovation. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So, we would like to start with, on the topic of innovation. So, in the past four years, the Institute has been developing and under your guidance and supervision and it has witnessed several changes. So, how would you like to summarize the infrastructure and academic developments of the Institute? As I go back uh, down the memory lane, I find that when I joined, uh, the Institute uh, was having so many projects coming up. So, we had a uh, lot many projects coming up. We can see that we will have adequate infra infrastructure. So, what I thought that we need to make best and optimum use of this infrastructure. From this point of view, we made a developmental plan so to grow in terms of academics. So, in this process, we have added every year one program, undergraduate program, and initially we started with the five-year dual degree B.Tech and Tech course in Computer Science and Engineering. We had also started B.Tech in Chemical Engineering. It was a four-year four course. And then having had the successful experience of five-year course dual degree with the uh, Computer Science Department, we replicated in Electronics and uh, Communication Engineering Department. In addition to that, initially we had uh, added 12 postgraduate programs leading to the degree of M.Tech in this institution. And therefore, all the infrastructure which came up in last four or five years has been duly occupied and optimally used. Uh, so this was an academic addition for the institute. And with the full cooperation of faculty and the students that we have been adjusted by the National Board of Accreditation that we are academically the best possible grades uh, having and then uh, these things are a very essential thing for the tech project also. So, would you like to discuss any recent accomplishments of our institute? In addition to this accreditation, which is an academic achievement of the institute with the cooperation of all the three components of the institutes, that is the faculty and the staff and the students, we also have been at just the second most beautiful campus in the country with an internet survey done and it is a big achievement for a small institution like us who we, who we are located in a locationally little difficult area and despite that we are able to maintain that kind of academic ambience, ambience that we are able to compete as a campus with other good institutions. Uh, our students have lot many achievements. The recent one is the arm design contest. It was an all India level contest, uh, contest and in which uh, our students had gone to triple IT Bangalore and we stood fast. We also begged the second prize there. After that, uh, we have uh, organized last year for the first time the Silver Jubilee reunion of the first batch of ours. So this tradition has started. This year we will be having the same Silver Jubilee reunion for the second batch. And this is our initiative to get uh, connected to our alumni who have been in their profession for the last 25 years after passing out from NIT Hamidpur. So this is a, these are the recent initiatives that we had taken and recent accomplishments. So coming to the technical festival of our institution, that is Nimbus, we will be glad to know how do you perceive it and in what ways do you think it adds to the all-round development of the students? This technical festival, which is an annual feature of our institute, like other technical institutions, is, is something which actually represents the institute in its true flavor. It's an opportunity for the students to showcase their technical and managerial skills. And I'm very happy to share with you that every year, every edition of Nimbus is actually manifesting a qualitative improvement in terms of its technical content. This is an opportunity for the students that 
apart from their academics they are able to they are able to uh, converge all their abilities in terms of design theoretical knowledge and their exposure of other areas in this way i find that uh, this this particular feature of an it hamirpur needs to be strengthened further and uh, in which uh, students are fully supportive and i am very happy that last year this was uh, inaugurated by by our honorable minister for human resource development and this year's edition we are going to have the former chairman of upsc who is himself is a professor of mechanical engineering he will be inaugurating the professor so this is an appropriate beginning of a technical festival of the institute so national institutes like ours generally focus on research work and teaching but nowadays a new term that is innovation is being evolved and it is getting a very enthusiastic response from everyone so how do you think innovation is relevant to national level institute like ours institutions like nits like ours uh, iits and central universities have ample opportunity because they are having very talented minds as their students and these minds can be used can be utilized can be directed to utilize their innovative potential to work and focus on the areas which are related to the needs of the society and the industries the responsibility with institutions like ours is that we should provide such talented students an enabling atmosphere so that their efforts are able to to be converted in terms of their credits and which makes them uh, while pursuing their study take interest in the innovative projects and with continuity and we should have the curriculum flexible in such a way so that we give due weightage to the open ended experiments and we should also be in a position to provide a little funding to those such students who need that uh, their projects need uh, to be, uh, support and the projects completed by the one set of students one batch of student should be maintained and so that the new students come and they take it forward from the point the previous batch has left it so this kind of continuity is is needed to be provided to the students by making our curriculum flexible so that the innovation can be fully uh, facilitated and the students mind can be utilized so the perception and perspective of innovation is generally subjected to people their places backgrounds and even to the nation so how would you like to define innovation uh, innovation in a simple term can be defined as transformation of ideas into marketable products services improved manufacturing or distribution system it can also include a new approach for providing societal or industrial services for the people engineering colleges are considered as a platform to get quality technical experience based on social benefits and requirements so in your opinion what are the initiatives taken in the past few years to shape the young minds in order to appreciate the importance of innovation our students have been taking a lot of interest in the new things keeping in view and in order to encourage them the nit hamirpur has taken lot many initiatives we have started an innovation club it has it is being participated into with full enthusiasm by the students one unique project of government of india root by the name rootag is actually uh, essentially meant for iits nit hamirpur has got a distinction that it is the only nit which has been included by government of india into that club of ruta projects this is a project in which the rural indigenous technologies are provided technical support by technical institutions of the adjoining areas so that the efficiency of the indigenous technology is improved and it is made available to the local people at a cheaper cost with better functionality we have organized two exhibitions of innovative projects in the past in which the rural technologies were demonstrated nit hamirpur has also been participating for the last 2 3 years in the annual feature of uh, the president secretariat in which the an, an exhibition and workshop is organized and the students from all over the country they participate our students have also done internship in the president house 
we are also sponsoring the students to participate in various competitions where their innovative projects are uh, demonstrated these are the few initiative that we have taken in the last 3 years so all these initiatives and achievements taken in the past makes me feel proud to be part of an it hamirpur so i would like to request you to please enlighten the future plans of our institute to promote innovation and it hamirpur has uh, been focused on these initi initiatives of in the area of innovation but a lot is required to be done we are actually contemplating to make our curriculum flexible so that the component of project is introduced in the formal curriculum from the first year onwards the concept of gap year is required to be included so that any student who feels that he needs a one year gap or time off to pursue his idea he can be allowed and later on he can join back the normal curriculum this kind of flexibility is required to be provided so that the sense of insecurity which prevails among the students for not missing the chance of placement is not at all there and they can actually pursue their innovative ideas innovation clubs needs to be strengthened they need to be funded in a more liberal way so that the uh, new ideas of the students can be uh, can ca can be tried upon we have also uh, to uh, think about the ideas of uh, sending our students for internship for the early startups so that they get exposure how the boldly the initiatives can be taken up the placement uh, in the new startups should also be encouraged the new startup should be called by your training and placement cell so that students who want to join them or those new startups if they want to take some set of students for their projects they can be placed there so these are the things which we think that in times to come we will be able to incorporate in our academic schedule in a formal way and in a form way so that the student feel more strengthened more confident to go ahead with their innovative thinking inching towards the end of this wonderful interaction i am confident to say that we the students of nit hamirpur are under right guidance and so with your proper directions we will all make an asset for our nation so in the end i would like to know one thing about nit hamirpur that you will al always cherish it's difficult to answer <laughs> it is difficult to answer because i find that there are so many things to cherish about this institution <laughs> actually i have many things to add it is the students of this institute which are actually at the central of all the goodness which we see all around the most important feature of the students of this institute is that they are disciplined all along pursuing their academic uh, schedule and it is actually the central theme which facilitates other good things to happen the campus is well maintained we have a very tight and disciplined academic schedule the campus is peaceful we are having every year qualitative addition in our day to day life and all these things are becoming possible because the students are cooperative in each and every way they are the soul spirit behind everything which is done i am so proud that i got an opportunity to be associated with these students with this institute and i can say it with more conviction and more confidence because i have seen other institutions also the this nit hamirpur is not good because i am here nit hamirpur is good because you all are here with this i wish the next 3 days of uh, technical extra beginza a great success and i hope that in times to come you will make this technical festival nimbus more and more entertaining full of technical content and an inspiration to the junior batches who will join you later thank you so much sir for a valuable guidance and this golden opportunity to interact and discuss with team vibhav we all hope that this year also nimbus 2016 is an extra vegenza and it is full of fun and frolic thank you very much for giving me an opportunity thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to connect to the students and to the organizing committee of nimbus all the best